Listen up, men. We control the bridges, but Batman can and will adapt. Stay alert. Watch the skies. Stations crawling with the Arkham Knights militia. I need to clear them out and find the access point they're using to hack into the transport network. TV for the shock. Good. We're gonna need it. You think he's coming? Oh, I know he is. Arkham Knight just kidnapped his friend. We got the drone. He's not catching us off guard. Better not. Batman accesses that terminal. I don't know what Scarecrow and the Arkham Knight will do to us. I get for betting it all on black. crawling with the Arkham Knights militia. I need to clear them out and find the access point they're using to hack into the transport network.
With the Arkham Knight's men taken care of, I can use their uplink terminal to lower the bridges. Isn't that Barbara's job? Oh, right! In all the excitement, I almost forgot! <laughs> you don't really believe old Jimbo's gonna forgive you if you save her. If he holds a grudge, Bats, I should know. Alfred, I've re-enabled the bridge controls. Marvelous. I'm rebooting the network now. Forget it, Scarecrow. It's time to face your one true nemesis, Batman. Oh dear. Is that who I think it is? Enigma. Contact me when you're ready with the bridge. Riddle me this. Why would a Batman visit an abandoned orphanage? Eddie, sweetie, you confuse me with Robin. The big guy and I aren't all that close. Oh, oh, I know. It's because of what will happen to his feline friend if he doesn't get here in time. Shocked, Dark Knight? Stunned? <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? That is because you are no match for me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and your intellectual superior. Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliated me! I know you will not beat me this time. It is utterly impossible. You cannot do it. I have won already! I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrums. I will stand triumphant over your bloodied corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective. Or she dies. Alfred, run analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. Right you are, Master Bruce. I'm searching for possible matches now. <laughs> How you managed to get this sample is beyond me, sir. Ah, here we are. The blood is heavily mutated, but we have a partial match, a Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Search for any properties in Gotham owned or leased by Dr. Langstrom. Certainly. Uh, let me see. Ah, he and his wife lease a basement laboratory in Chinatown. I'm sending you the address. That tortured creature was once a man. Dr. Kirk Langstrom. There must be a cause for this transformation. His lab might hold the answer. Proceed with caution, sir. The creature could well be hiding in familiar surroundings.
Okay. <clears throat> Full genetic resplicing was a success. The recombinant molecule. Honey, you're doing it again. How about in English? Uh, yes, of course. Sorry. So, uh, what we've done is merged the DNA of Desmodus Rotundus, uh, sorry, the, the vampire bat, into the human chain. This breakthrough could, it will, prevent and cure deafness in all humanity. How was that? Perfect, sweetie. Uh, are you getting this, honey? I think so. Is the red light on? Blunt trauma to the head. Langstrom had no idea what he was doing. Full genetic resplicing was a success. The recombinant There's a computer. Maybe it contains some answers. Yes, of course. Sorry. So what we've done is merge the DNA of this This computer stores all of Dr. Langstrom's research. Mixing his DNA with a vampire bat? That was never going to end well. If I search through his files, I may be able to create an antidote to his condition. I need to isolate the man bat's signature and remove it from Langstrom's DNA. That's it. I've created a clean DNA sample. Now all I need to do is make him take his medicine. Alfred, I've synthesized a cure in Langstrom's lab. Now I just need to find him. Any idea where he may be hiding? He's not in control of his actions. He could be anywhere. No one knows this city better than you, Master Bruce. You'll find him. His wife, your parents. <laughs> what is it about dead relatives that turns you into a giant rodent?
Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. This wound is relatively fresh inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. The position of this scar indicates the victim underwent surgery to remove one of their kidneys. A plate made of tantalum, used here for a cranial fracture, most probably the result of a boxing accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. Alfred, the victim's name is Ella Montgomery. Mm. It appears the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir.
Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Selachomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Catwoman. Tell me why. I don't know anything. I swear. I tied her up and left her inside. Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought her here and planted some of these trophies nearby. That's it. You gotta believe me. I do. Batman? That had better be you, and you had better be sorry. Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself?
a pair you make. Together, you're just competent enough to survive. Enjoy it while it lasts, Dark Knight. I have more in store for you than hitting things. No doubt you enjoyed that, Detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> Well, don't just stand there, Dark Knight. Take that rocket-fueled roadster of yours and make your way to the Cauldron Train Yard. My first test is waiting. I'll come back for you. Stay here. I'm wearing a bomb, Batman. Of course I'm staying here. Go get my keys. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman, old boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Arkham Knight's vehicle. Miss Gordon's safety is on all of our minds, sir. Good luck. Alfred, I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. 
Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Arkham Knight's vehicle. Discordant safety is on all of our minds, sir. Good luck.